Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Welcome back everyone. We are here in Google Sheets in the recipe book that we have been building. We're going to take a look at how to insert links into a Google Sheet. So let's get started. If you recall, we have this column over here on the right, column H, where we were adding our links when we were adding our first couple of recipes. We were just adding these here temporarily so that we wouldn't lose them. But remember, if you're adding something to a Google Sheet, you're going to copy your link from wherever that link is on the internet, whatever that site or that source, wherever you have found that link. These links that we have here, we pasted in as text but they don't look really nice and clean. So that's why we're going to look at how to properly add and insert links into a Google sheet. So step one is to copy the link. We have a few in here, so I'm going to go over here and click on the link and then I'm going to click on the copy icon. Remember, you may be pulling your link from somewhere else on the internet. So go ahead and copy your link wherever it may be coming from. Our second step is to click on the cell where we want to put the link. Kind of like the title of the recipe maybe. Maybe that's where we want to put our link. So I'm going to click on the recipe title. Now our third step is to add the link. Now there are multiple ways for us to add links in Google Sheets. You can right click and then select insert link or you can click the link icon on the toolbar or my favorite way is to use a keyboard shortcut, which is command K on a Mac or control K if you're on a PC. No matter which option you chose, you will get this little pop up window where you will paste your link and then you're going to press the return key to apply the link. Notice the color that it turned my text. It's also underlined to indicate a hyperlink. So that's how you add a link. You copy the link from its source, click on the cell, use one of those options, right click the icon on the toolbar or the keyboard shortcut, and then you paste it and there you go. Now for our recipe book, you may have found that you do not like changing these recipe titles to the links of the recipe. Also, now when you scroll through the recipes, you're going to have this little pop-up window of the website. Maybe you're fine with that. Maybe you like that, or maybe that bothers you and that's okay. There are a lot of options that we have here when we're adding links into our Google sheet. It comes down to what works best for you and your data set. So I'm going to undo what I did and I'm going to show you another thing that you can do that may look a little bit cleaner for you. I'm going to click on the cell again. And then remember, I'm going to use our little secret keyboard shortcut, which is command return on a Mac or alt return on a PC. And that allows us to enter a new line within a single cell. So I'm going to write the word link, or you can write the word recipe link or whatever would work for you. Then you're going to highlight just that word or words, and you can either use the link icon on the toolbar or our keyboard shortcut. We're going to press enter and there we go. Does that look better? What do you think? So there you go. Repeat that process for your other recipes. Remember to copy the link. You can add the words link or recipe link. You can highlight it and then either use the toolbar or the keyboard shortcut to create that hyperlink. Again, it can go here with the title of the recipe, or maybe you prefer for it to be over in its own column. Now with this option, when you scroll through here, you will still see a preview of the link as you scroll down and look at the different recipes. So some people do not like to have that pop up and others do. So it depends on what you have with your data here in Google Sheets. If you want, you can add a column with links. So you can use this exact same technique to clean up what we already have. So I'm going to actually click on the link that we have over here in column H. I'm going to click on the pencil icon and then where you see the word text is what will appear for this link in the cell. So I'm going to change that to link or recipe link or anything that you would prefer. And then I'm going to press the return key when I'm done 
and there we go. Now that looks much nicer and cleaner in my Google Sheet. So I want you to pick whichever process works best for you and apply it to all of the recipes in your recipe book to get it nice and cleaned up. So take some time to work on that, add more recipes as you find them, and really begin building up this recipe book. Now you have learned how to add links in Google Sheets that are clean. This is important because you do not want links to take away from the data or be a distraction. Next up, we're gonna look at adding images to our recipes, which is one trick that is really gonna take our recipe book to a whole new level. So come on over and join me in the next module. This video is part of our complete course on Google Sheets. To watch the complete course, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to watch additional videos, click over there.